Do you remember playing with made in China toys in your childhood? Even though we have been surrounded by made in China goods, things are changing in India. In 2014-15, India exported toys worth 96.17 million dollars. In 2021-22, the export went up nearly four times to 326.63 million dollars. What exactly happened that triggered India's growth in the toy sector? Hi, I'm Rucha Devi, and this is NIJ Explained. China is the largest producer in the global toy market, producing more than 70% of the world's total toys. It accounts for 56% of global exports. China flooded the world markets and obviously those in India with its toys that were cheap, offered a wide variety and were counterfeit, targeting the middle class and lower income groups. People gave preference to price over quality. One more reason was the lack of alternatives. So how exactly did India decide to transform its toy sector? In financial year 2018-19, India had imported toys worth $371 million. So while the global toy trade was valued at $93 billion in 2020, the Indian toy industry had a share of just 0.2% in global toy exports. India's global market share is worth $1.5 billion. According to a report last year by KPMG India and the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, China accounted for 86% of India's toy imports between 2016 and 2020. So in 2020, the Indian government decided to challenge China's monopoly in toy manufacturing with a focus on the Indian market. The goal was not just to cut reliance on China for toys, but also boost India's domestic toy industry that involves revival of our rich history. Prime Minister Modi in his August 2020 episode of Man Ki Baat said this. Naye naye toys kaise mile? Bharat toy production ka bhaut bada hub kaise bane? Kai pratibhashali aur kushal karigar hai, jo achche khilone banane mein maharat rakhte hai. भारत के कुछ क्षेत्र टॉय क्लस्टर्स यानी खिलौने के केंद्र के रूप में भी विकसित हो रहे हैं आपको यह जानकर आश्चर्य होगा कि ग्लोबल टॉय इंडस्ट्री 7 लाख करोड़ रुपये से भी अधिक की है 7 लाख करोड़ रुपयों का इतना बड़ा कारोबार लेकिन भारत का हिस्सा उसमें बहुत कम है खिलौनों के साथ हम दो चीजें कर सकते हैं अपने गौरवशाली अतीत को अपने जीवन में फिर से उतार सकते हैं और अपने स्वर्णिम भविष्य को भी संवार सकते हैं मैं अपने स्टार्टअप मित्रों को हमारे नए उद्यमियों से कहता हूं टीम अप फॉर टॉयज दिस वाज अ क्लैरियन कॉल फॉर इंडियाज टॉय इंडस्ट्री एंड ऑल इट्स प्लेयर्स द टर्निंग पॉइंट वाज अ गवर्नमेंट सर्वे इन 2020 दैट रिवील्ड 67% ऑफ टॉय इंपोर्ट्स फ्रॉम चाइना वर टॉक्सिक फॉर चिल्ड्रन Here's what the Modi government did to cut imports while simultaneously boost manufacturing. First step was to hike customs duty. In February 2020, the government hiked basic custom duty or BCD on toys from 20% to 60%. This made imports more expensive. That will reflect in the prices of made in China toys. At the same time, it will push local manufacturers to innovate and take more risks to capitalize on global opportunities. Next, in January 2021, a QCO came into force. As per this QCO, toys for children under 14 years of age must conform to seven Indian standards and bear a standard mark or ISI under a license from BIS. This QCO applies to both domestic manufacturers as well as foreign manufacturers who intend to export their toys to India. Automatically, if the quality does not conform to these seven Indian standards, the toys will be rejected. What more was needed here was to draw the attention of multiple players in the toy industry. The Modi government introduced a national toy action plan in 2020, involving 15 ministries to make the Indian toy industry competitive and push the Make in India initiative by boosting the domestic manufacturing of toys. The Modi government launched the Toykathon. Toy Fair in 2021. This provided an opportunity for toy manufacturers to exhibit their toys. Buyers could interact, traders could assess the potential of the industry. Another major step was to create clusters for which the toy cluster program called Scheme of Fund for Regeneration of Traditional Industries or Sphurti was started. Here's how the toy clusters will work. The toy cluster aims to bring together 
in-campus business support services, including social infrastructure and residential accommodation to support the workforce. The cluster will include raw material suppliers, shared infrastructure such as plug and play industrial sheds, research and development, design and prototyping, testing, training, quality certification, customs, ancillary industries, and service providers. In India, the majority of the toy industry is mainly located on the outskirts of Delhi, Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu. For this, there is also a product-specific industrial cluster development program in place that aims to build toy clusters in dedicated SEZs to create self-sustained ecosystems catering to export markets. An outlay of 2,300 crore rupees has been approved by the Modi government to set up eight toy manufacturing clusters, three in Madhya Pradesh, two in Rajasthan, and one each in Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu. Another game changer is the PLI scheme. The government is in the advanced stage to launch a PLI for both traditional and mechanical toys worth 3,500 crore rupees. The scheme will last for five years, apply to BIS compliant toys only, and subsidize the sale of toys by local manufacturers. Digital India is playing its part with Indian toys slowly becoming more accessible to the masses with the help of e-commerce websites like Amazon and Flipkart. Then there's the gem portal on which various manufacturers have listed their products. So far, the measures taken by the Modi government since 2020 have resulted in several feats. Toy imports have dropped 70% from $371 million in financial year 19 to $110 million in financial year 22. Import of toys from China have dropped 80% to $59 million and toy exports have increased 61.4% to $326 million by financial year 22. Post the pandemic, things have started changing with disruption of supply chains across the globe. While China has adopted living with the virus strategy, the truth is that it is still grappling with lockdowns, workforce and labour shortage, disruption of logistics that has severely impacted manufacturing. Several international companies have moved or are looking to move their operations out of China to countries like Vietnam, India, Bangladesh, Indonesia and Thailand. Toy making MNCs such as Hasbro, Lego, Beetle, and several others are interested in moving their local sourcing from China to India. Meanwhile, in India, manufacturers are seeing opportunities with the government's push for the toy industry. For example, Fun School India is now exporting to more than 33 countries. India's toy exports have gone from 300 crore rupees to 2,600 crore rupees in a span of just two years. Currently, India's exports look like this. India's Toy Story success is to be attributed to the Modi government's Make in India and Vocal for Local initiatives under the Atmanirbhar Bharat scheme. The government's constant push for the sector is helping address key issues like raw materials, design, innovation, quality assurance, lack of skilled labour that will drive India's toy manufacturing capacity and boost exports. So that was all in this episode of NIJ Explained. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, this is Richa Devedi signing off. Dhaniwad and Namaste.